Hey guys, so it's time to take a look here at the Galaxy S4 Zoom over here and check out the camera software a little bit because of course this is a pretty pretty special phone in in terms of how it looks uh, and the key thing here is that it doesn't have the same specs as a Galaxy S4 it's more like the S4 mini in terms of specs and an S4 mini with the zoom capability because this one is pretty awesome Let's see here yeah you can move around this one a little bit to zoom in when you are in the camera part you have the camera click here so let's just unlock this device first and immediately once you start to you can immediately start to spin around take picture using suitable okay there we go let's see here so if you open up the camera software here and take a little bit of a look at it, uh, compare it against the, uh, the GS4. The first thing we can see up here is, um, you can see the F and, uh, okay, I'm not, I'm not a camera expert. I'm, I'm gonna say that already, but you can see the time here. Let's see here, uh, the I ISO and a few other things like probably white balance. Uh, you have different modes in here, which is kind of exciting. When you tap here, we have a bunch of different modes. First, of course, we do have the normal auto mode. So let's just tap on that. Now, one thing you can do here as well is you can make this one go in and out. So if you want to zoom in on something, can I handle that? No. Let's go back a little bit. Let's tap to focus. Okay, and now ED, of course, we can hit this one up here and take a picture, or we can just tap over there, or we can go into video mode. And this video mode, let's see here what happens if I zoom in a little bit or zoom out. You can see it's trying but it can't this close because now I'm pretty close. Of course, a, a zoom feature, of course, it's mostly for when you are far away from something. And of course you can also tap up here to, um, to handle that. You can see your recording, the time you can record. And uh, let's see here, you can also do a cool thing here where you can pause the video and then you can readjust, maybe zoom in here a little bit and then just continue recording. So pretty awesome stuff. And then when you're finished, of course, you can just hit that little button. And see here, of course you can hold this one in just a little bit to just get a focus. And then when you wanna take a picture, you just, let's see here, if you wanna focus first. Let's check out some other modes here also that we do get. We have this little button up here at the top and when you tap on it, it will change, change to the front facing camera instead. And then you also have a bunch of other different modes and stuff in here. Let's see here if we go back and let's tap on this little button here. We can see that we have, let's see here, uh, body share, uh, chat on, rem remote viewfinder. Sounds pretty badass. I'm not quite sure how that works, but uh, let's see here. Voice control as well. So if you want to be able to use that, you can probably take a picture with your voice. Let's see here, geolocation. Uh, if you want to have that in your pictures where you are, you can probably also enable that. And then we do have this kind of timer here. If you want to wait before you take the picture, we have the normal flash. And let's see here, if you check out some other modes here, we have the smart mode here. Uh, let's see here, take pictures in the variable smartphones that are recommended automatically. So let's see here, uh, we have best photo, continue shot, best face, it's trying to do the best, kids shot, landscape, take pictures to emphasize the landscape, it's about making green, blue, uh, it's making, these, making uh, the green and blue more intense, which is pretty awesome. If you are 
in a landscape environment, of course. And then we have dawn, take pictures to emphasize the dawn sky. Uh, snow, which is very good, take pictures to emphasize the brightness of snow by making white more intense. Of course, you can play around with these. Uh, this is more of one of my favorite. Take pictures of clothes, objects, or text. Let's see here. Kind of zoom in or out in this mode. Okay. Let's see here. Will this work? Oh, I think it will. So you kind of could probably get a little bit closer here. Let's see if we can make a comparison. Let's go to auto. Okay, that one, did, of course, auto, it could probably sometimes uh, do that for you. Uh, food, I take pictures to emphasize the vivid colors of food, which sounds pretty cool. If you have a lot of food, party indoor, take pictures of parties in the without blurring, uh, which sounds also pretty awesome. When you don't want to have that blur. Now, of course, you have to try these in these different environments and see if you like them or if you don't. I take pictures of fast movements. Uh, so let's see here. So you can experiment with fast movements, uh, rich tone, uh, if you want to have more colors, panorama mode, of course, which will take a long picture uh, that will be in just one single, pretty awesome. Uh, waterfall, animated photo, drama, eraser, so save the best picture of the erasing moving objects, uh, which is also pretty awesome. Silhouette, take pictures of silhouettes uh, with uh, backlighting. I mean, it's just so many different modes that you can play around with. Uh, so you definitely want to check that out, fireworks, etc. And then we also have exper expert mode here. Uh, shutter speed, adjust the amount of incoming light and the blurriness of moving objects by increasing or decreasing this value. Yeah, so let's see here. First we'll see increasing the exposure to make the picture brighter. So of course, with expert mode, it's going to be a little bit advanced here. Uh, adjusting the sharpness of, I mean, subject outlines. Um, adjust the contrast between brightness and darkness. So pretty cool here with with an expert mode. Uh, adjust the color tone, which effects should be used when taking pictures. So you have all of these like blue. If you want to add a specific touch to the pictures and this one flows uh, very very nicely here so let's just play around with this saturation as well and if you want to have a little bit more of, of a sharpness look uh, to your pictures you also have that and then of course contrast here if you want to have a really really cool contrast on pictures uh, what else do we have here? Uh, shutter speed, adjusting the amount of incoming light and the blurness. Let's see here. If you go back to that. And uh, wow. You can really, really go bright here as well, as you can see. And then we do have aperture, adjust the amount of incoming light. Uh, ISO also, which is like color. Wow, now it's really, really bright here. And you have so many options in here, it's it's pretty intense. Uh, light source, adjust the white balance using the light source in the background. So you have all of these like fluorescent light and all of these that you can play around with. And uh, let's see here. I know I'm making the picture look horrible. And then we do have metering and it draw, change the number of pictures taken per section, per section, blah, blah, blah. So if you want to take multiple pictures, you can also do that. And then we do have, let's see here. Yeah, I did check out that one. 
Guess I got the P one. Sharpness, contrast. Yeah, I did check out that one. I don't think I did check out this one. Yes, I did. But I mean, in general, it's expert mode. You have you have so many things in here. And then we do have the last one, which is my mode. Let's see here. You can edit it. So your very your favorite ones that you do wanna include in this one. So you can only have five, and then you can quickly just go to it. And it will pick the one that you would like. So, let's see here. Very, very quick look here at the, the camera software uh, inside of the Galaxy S4 Zoom. I definitely think it's impressive and pretty, pretty nice software here. And it's definitely for the one that want to play around more, have like a pretty awesome camera inside of their phone, but they don't want to buy both things. Uh, of course, in terms of zoom, th that is where this device really shines. So of course, it's 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 uh, going to be a lot about if you want to ha have good pictures when you zoom in as well. Uh, then this one definitely will be uh, nice. So. Um, Use a quick look here at the software. Hopefully you did enjoy this quick little tour here. I might compare it in other videos against other cameras and such, um, which it could be fun because I think, I mean, the camera part is definitely something that people use a lot with phones. I mean, they, they take a lot of pictures. It, it is a great little thing. And you can see here how it looks. Here is this flash part and everything. Uh, so uh, hopefully you did enjoy this video and uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more content in the future.